Well, Max, you've had a, a Hall of Fame career with Hall of Fame moments well before tonight, but obviously this was pretty special. But, I mean, just as you sit there tonight, where does this moment rank among all the great nights of your career? Uh, uh, for me personally, second. Second, man. Nothing like going out to Rio, fighting the king of Rio, uh, getting an undisputed title against him is amazing. But, you know, being here, you know, just shout out to Justin Gaethje, brother. He had everything to lose, everything to lose. He still took this fight. UFC 300, the biggest fight card for the next decade, probably. And uh, to go out there, to do what we did, you know, we both got, we both got paid, so I'm happy for that. And uh, even the fans, you know, the fans pushing in for this fight, Justin accepting the fight, getting my floor shorts, crazy championship-like walk. So, you know, it, it was uh, just an amazing night. Obviously, the end of the first round, that turning sidekick did, did a lot of damage to him, but then you kept throwing that throughout the night. Was that because of the success you had the first time, or was that something you keyed in on in the game plan uh, coming in? Uh, Justin just liked uh, when he when he stands still, he stay there, you know. Uh, or when he throw hard, he, he stay there. He, he's there to get hit, you know. And uh, I was blessed enough to land that spinning back kick, brother, you know. I think it broke his nose. Uh, I could hear Trevor in there being like, don't blow it out, don't blow it out. So I was like, yeah, his nose is broken, and... Uh, I just knew fighting 20 minutes like that, you know, is, 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 is a tough thing. So uh, I think so. It's ha is being at altitude helped him a lot because, brother, any, any, any less of a man does not do what Justin Gaethje does, brother. That guy is he's made out of titanium, brother. I don't know what it is. He, 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 he's a titan. The moment that'll live in history, of course, the finish, right? I mean, what's going through your head, right? Because you're clearly ahead on the scorecards at that point. I mean, we've seen you engage in the center like that before, but a guy like Justin Gaethje is even more dangerous with guys that you've done it in the past. Uh, what's going through your head in that moment uh, that you're uh, like... Uh, this is the moment. This is, the, this is what BMS is known for. You know, the baddest mother effort. I, first of all, I want to change the I want to change the name to Bless Man Forever. That's what the belt means when I hold it. <laughs> Bless Man Forever. But... Uh, if that's not a BMF moment, I don't know what is. If the cards just flip and Justin was up, if he felt like he was up, I knew he would give me that 10-second shot. So he's a bad man. And, and I don't know if I'm ever going to share the octagon with him again. He's a legend, brother. These are, the type, these are the type of fights. These are the type of stuff you do to edge your name in the history books. And uh, I'm just happy that I was the one landing, you know. He, he, he missed some shots. I, I was getting hurt by the wind of his shots, but that's how hard he hit. The, this guy, is, uh, he's the next level. I don't know if I've ever seen a guy with more options on the table than you probably have right now. 45 title, 55 title, BMF title. I mean, is there one thing knowing that you can pretty much call your shot at this moment that means more to you than anything else? Like I said, bro, I, I did a bunch of interviews you guys all week, and I told all you guys to so ask that question when I come here, and we're here now, and I got options, man. It feels great. You know, Dana's happy, Hunter's happy, Sean Shelby's happy. You know, we can sit down with the team and figure it out, you know. I, I saw that this announced the 55 title. So it looks like he's finally defending against a 55er, which is, you know, good on him. And like I said, you know, there's an El Matador. He's, uh, he's doing everything in his will to uh, try to escape a bull in the pen. So, you know, I'm here. First things first, rest. I got my beautiful wife. I got my beautiful family out here. All my family, we're just chilling, brother. I got a, I got a 30 day no contact uh, from, from the, do the doctor. So I'm going to enjoy it. Last well, thing for me, Dana shared that, you know, as he walked by, you and Justin were on the phone having a conversation out there. Can oh, you yeah. share the details of, of what you guys talked about? I owe, I owe him and uh, Trevor a drink. I told him that we, we, we have, we'd, we'd have a drink together. So at the end of the day, that's what it is. So they was keeping me to it. It's like, brother, you need to get find us and come get this drink because you owe me a shot. So, hey, it is what it is. Like I said, Justin, Justin is different, brother. Just their whole team. They, 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 respectful guy. Like I said, he had, he had everything to lose. And he still gave me a shot, you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and, and it happened this way. So I got nothing but love for him, brother. Like me, when the first time I fought in Denver, we had everything set up. Like not, not many people know, but Justin took care of us. Justin drove us around. He had, he had, he had his whole life and his dog in that car. You know, it, it, was, it was crazy. And to be sitting here at UFC 300, standing in the octagon across him, looking at this dude, like, holy shit, you know, that's, that, that's amazing. Max right here. Um, do you think anyone is ever going to oblige with you pointing to the center like, of the cage uh, again? I hope so. I hope so. If you're a BMF, you want to be great. That's what, that's what great fighters do. Everybody thought I was lying when I said I was a gladiator. You know what I mean? I, I ain't lying. I, any weight, whoever, whatever, anyone can get it. But shout out to you, brother. You know, without having an interview with you, Mark Coleman was super, I don't know if you saw his reaction. He was super ecstatic to, uh, to wrap the belt around us. And then even with the ideas of asking the question, you, you, you alley to me, brother. You, you gave me the alley for the bonuses. I'm here. I got two bonuses. And, uh, you know, thank you for that. No worries. Do you do anything special with that money? 
Ah, uh, brother, you gotta ask the boss. The boss lady right there, John, John Wick looking ass over there. <laughs> she looked like John Wick. She looked, she, she inspired me today. She, her, her fit was like John Wick vibe. So I was like, I gotta go out there and be an assassin. So um, a lot of people thought that Justin knocked you down tonight, but the official statistics do not give him a knockdown. So oh yeah, so, oh yeah. Um, hey, it was a slip. It was a slip. All right, let's, let's stick about? with that. Right, thanks, Max. Max over here. After the fight, you said, uh, I'm him on the microphone. So did you feel like uh, as a uh, y'all must have forgot moment was there? Brother, brother. I was counting out. People was telling me what everybody's doing. Justin's going to be too big, too strong. Just a lot of stuff, you know. People need to get reminded. And I'd, I'd let them know. I'd let them know. I was telling people all week, bro, we're him. Well, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And you guys need a reminder. Everybody was talking about the haircut is back. I guess so this haircut is like going Super Saiyan or something, if you guys are anime fans. So at the end of the day... It, it was just, it was just a huge moment for me, you know, being being blessed enough to be in there, being UFC 300, having this event, brother. This event is going to be talked about for for ages, you know. I I don't know what card is ever going to have 12 or more champions on top of it, you know. So we might have to wait to 400 for that one, and that's a ways away. And obviously, you want that Ilya to purify, but after how good you looked tonight at 155, could you see a world where you call 155 home in the for the long term? We see what happens, bro. We see what happens. I go sit with my team and. Um, we have options, brother. I ain't, I ain't in a rush. No, I ain't going nowhere. I'm only, I'm only 32, brother. I'm only th a lot of people so watch me fight when I was 20 in this sport. And you guys think I'm like 41 or something. You guys think I'm DC's age. You know, I'm not. I'm 32. <laughs> I'll be around for a long time. Get used to it. By any chance, did you see uh, Ilya's reaction to your knockout? Yeah, I saw it. People saw it. But I, I don't know. Like, you know, like everybody's like, oh, he, he's like whatever. But you can't, I don't know the dude, you know what I mean? You don't know if he's socially awkward or something. So, like, maybe that's just what, what he is. You know, no, 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 fair play to him. You know, I don't know how animated or whatever he is. So, I ain't going to take to it. This guy is a world champion. He's a killer. But like I said, all fight week, brother, it's quite, you know, we got questions. There's a lot of questions about the guy, and uh, I, I would want to I wanna figure that out. Last one for me. Dana was just in here and said that Hawaii probably doesn't have the necessary infrastructure to host a big UFC event. So, is that something you're going to be, Pushing for until you no nah, no nah, we're I'm I'm over that brother if, if there there if, there is one stadium that I think that they could hold us in but I don't think I'd be able to fight it would have to be like UFC 300 tickets and I wouldn't feel right paying my my people paying that kind of money to to watch me fight so so another it, there could be a UFC why you know we got a bunch of other white fighters we got Dan coming up hopefully he can uh, he can get his the UFC white card for him you know so. At the end of the day, this is like the Ninth Island. You know, you guys saw in there how much Hawaiian flags you guys saw there, right? This is like Hawaii to me. If Ilya is the next one, I know they can't get in Spain to next year. And if they're not doing the, and if they moved on from Alex and they want to go at me, why not Legion Stadium? 60, 66,000 people. This is like UFC Hawaii right here. I feel right at home, so that'd be huge. Max in the front, right here. Uh, Ilya actually just did an interview with ESPN, and his quote was. It's clear for me my next fight is against Max Holloway. Congratulations and enjoy tonight. But after fighting me, he will have to go back to the back of the line. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, what do you want, what do we want to say? What if he goes in the back of the line? You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we find out. Like I said, we got questions. We got questions, you know? Uh, we, we're, we're in the fighting game. Ilya can talk, but I got a lot of questions, you know? I like, I like listening. And uh, if that ever gets booked, you guys are going to see a lot of answers, so I'm excited for it. Max, if you were to go on and beat Ilya and become champion again, it sort of opens the door to another fight with Volkanovski down the road. And you always said... 100%. 100%. I ever get that title back, Volk stayed around. I want to fight him one more time, brother. I'm going to keep knocking, down, knocking on that door until I get my one, you know? <laughs> well, I remember when you, lo you lost the third fight to him. You said, I'm just going to be undeniable, I think was your word. Undeniable. And here you are today. Essentially, if you get one fight and one win, you could make that happen. Does it feel good to know that despite everyone saying that you can't really do something, that, that door's closed, you can open it yourself? Uh, bro, be undeniable. Be undeniable, you know. Uh, I see a lot of guys fighting certain people being like, I deserve this, I deserve that. I'm like, no, nah, man, you know. I, I'm, I'm not, not fighting contenders. See, if I wasn't fighting contenders, then I can see why you guys all be like, Max shouldn't deserve it. I'm fighting every contender. You know what I mean? Every contender is coming through me. At one point, it's for Ilya. You know, Ilya just jumped the line. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, uh, you want to be great in the sport, fight the best people. Fight the people who you you gotta take chances in the sport to make a name. And uh, I was just happy that you know I took the right chance. Max, over here. Um, 
you threw like 700 spinning back kicks to to uh, Gaethje. The first one broke his nose, obviously. But was that something that you saw in film study and like something that you saw that maybe you can get him with? For sure, for sure. You know, we was uh, he likes to plant his feet, throw, and then he likes to duck. You know, and uh, I was blessed enough to land that first one, brother. That first one at right at the last seconds of the first round helped a lot. Like I said, he got a broken nose from it, so. That was good. That was, that was definitely about the plan. We, we saw a lot of things. Justin was a, lot, uh, Justin was a little quicker than I thought he would be. But like everybody said, that guy, that guy hit hard, brother. He hits, it's very hard. So, you know, uh, I'm glad I got to come out of this kind of unscathed. The leg is kind of stiff, but it is what it is. And, you know, obviously you say you have options. You have Elia. You have uh, the winner of Islam Poirier. Connor and Chandler just got announced tonight. Is that a fight that you're going to keep your eyes on? Brother, we got options, brother. Right, cut. Connor likes to consider himself a BMF, right? So we can figure that out. I got history with, I don't really got history with Islam, but me and Dustin got some history. Five years to the date, Muffin Top Max fought Dustin, and uh, that didn't go my way. So at the end of the day, we got options, bro. First things first, heal up. I'm going to enjoy this with my family, and you guys can ask me in a couple months what, what's the next step is. Max, Max, here, here. I don't know where here is. <laughs> you won. You won your second belt today. Do you think about winning the lightweight title to be the only fighter in history with three belts? I mean, if it's history, let me do it. I mean, you gotta ask Dana White. You ask Dana White them that. If it's history, it's history. I, I know right now. I heard. I hold the history for winning an intro, undisputed, and now the BMF. So why not? You know, I want to be great. I want my my face to be edge in the in the record book so if that's the next step that's the next step here max right over here uh they did just announce islam taking on poirier who obviously you got history with how do you see that fight for the lightweight title going in june should be fun should be fun man i, I think it's gonna be a fun one uh i think dustin is coming to his own again and uh should be exciting i mean what is the over under on top of uh justin dumping a gilly because uh you guys all should make a bet and get money because i can't bet Hey, Max. Um, UFC 5 came out last year, and are you still incorporating that into your uh, training routine to come up with combinations? No, no, I haven't been playing too much games. I, 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 play, I don't play fighting games. I play shooting games. I play first-person shooters. But, uh, yeah, you know, if, maybe, maybe. Come over to my kick, kick.com backslash Max Holloway. Maybe you guys can harass me to, get some, uh, to learn some new combinations on there. One more, one more. Last one, brother. Max, I was just, I caught up with the, the great Brian Stan outside, and we were talking about you. And he agrees with me, man. Why go backwards? You look tremendous. I did a side-by-side -side piece. Your neck looks bigger. Your lats look bigger. Your biceps look bigger. Dude, we just saw the results. Why go back to 45? Because I got unfinished business, brother. I got unfinished business. A lot of people is talking about Eli like the next, great, the next big thing, and I want to taste, brother. So we see what happens, though. You never know what happens, brother. And of course, I'm going to look big. I'm Polynesian, brother. I finally can eat. Thank you. Thank you.